Okay, so um, prior to me coming to uh, Mayo, I uh, uh, was a general surgeon, trauma surgeon, and uh, burn surgeon at Upstate Medical Center in Syracuse, New York. And there I, I got an interest, well, I, I was the burn surgeon. We handled a lot of the necrotizing soft tissue infections, and that remains an interest uh, to this day. And uh, uh, for southeastern Minnesota, we, we do get the majority of the uh, necrotizing soft tissue infection. So hopefully this is a review. There are a few things that I'll point out that are newer. Okay, so these are the demographics. And basically what this means is uh, for most surgeons in the United States, you're going to see one of these cases every couple of years, uh, so you'll be uh, affected by it. You know, the flesh-eating bacteria, the group A strep, the clostridial, uh, those, those are not as common as the, the, the uh, synergistic bacterial gangrene or the polymicrobial, which tends to have a more uh, indolent course, and we're certainly seeing that uh, in uh, our patient populations. They age as they gain, uh, gain weight and uh, increasing diabetes. Mortality, uh, depending on location and ability to control it and uh, uh, etiology, is between 16 and 34 percent. Okay, I like this picture because, you know, the, the, the term we use, necrotizing fasciitis, is actually wrong. That if you look at the majority of soft tissue uh, necrotizing infections, they, they occur somewhere between the superficial and the true deep or, or muscular investing fascia. Uh, and that's why the term necrotizing soft tissue infection is preserved over, is uh, 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 preferred over uh, necrotizing fasciitis. And I'll, I'll just point out in this picture, uh, these are the perforating vessels that come from. Uh, muscle and supply skin. Remember, skin has a longitudinal blood supply, which is, uh, uh, can, can uh, uh, keep skin alive for several centimeters, but the, the perforators are the more robust uh, blood flow. And so a lot of the, the signs that you'll see externally of a necrotizing soft tissue infection are actually due to uh, ischemic changes, due to those loss of perforators. Okay, the microbiology, basically anything has been uh, uh, implicated in uh, necrotizing fasciitis. Um, I'll point your uh, attention to the marine vibrio species. Uh, we, we have a lot of fishermen uh, along the uh, Mississippi, and we, we occasionally see some vibrio uh, from waterborne uh, wounds, you know, uh, fishing accidents, outboard motor accidents. So uh, uh, particularly if you're in any of the coastal waters or any, any warm water, uh, if you have a wound associated with water, think, think Vibrio. Okay, the uh, uh, microbiology has been divided into uh, the, the uh, type 1 cases, which uh, the, the